Hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, Chicks and Sticks, Cigars on the Silver Screen. This is my 4th of July episode. So I'm really excited to have United Cigars here with us. And um, we've got tons to talk about. So um, we got to move it fast. Um, also, I want to encourage everybody to uh, uh, ask questions or make comments. You'll find out why later. But you want to do it. So um, let's get started. Bring on Oliver from United Cigars, and we're gonna get uh, talking. Hello, hello, hello. There he is. Hey, Paula, how are you? <laughs> I'm not very tech savvy, so sometimes there's issues. I'm no, good. No, really so what's the, what's the weather like where you are? Oh, well, we, we went from a heat wave of you know high 90s to thunderstorms today, and it's dropping to 60 tomorrow. That's that's New England. Wow. Yeah, we're escaping this. Uh, you know, there's a kind of a heat wave on the whole entire West Coast. And so we're kind of escaping it because we're close to the beach. But I mean, I think from Canada to Mexico, it's just this huge heat wave. So yeah, but it's warm here today. It's heat. 80. And that's, yeah. Yeah. 80 oh, is kind got, of warm for us. Paul, I, I apologize. It seems like we got just a little bit of delay. So if we're, if we do a little bit of a, uh, you know, Max Headroom 80 style conversation here, then <laughs> that's the delay. I know. I'm not sure. I'm like plugged in on a wire. I'm not even depending on Wi-Fi. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully it will clear up. Last week I had a, some glitchiness in the beginning and then it went away. So it's also really Yeah, I saw that here. you were with. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you were with KC from Crux. I saw at the beginning it had a little little glitch, but then it, uh, then it smoothed out. So hopefully even we get the, uh, get the same. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's a he's a smooth cat anyway, so that's probably why. <laughs> right. Oh, well, he, uh, yeah, and he's a talker too. Like we could have probably done a three hour show, probably. Right. Um, okay, so first of all, because I want to get it lit, I'm gonna show what I'm smoking. Mm. Um, so I'm smoking this little firecracker. Look at that. Gorgeous. I know, right? And so this is very interesting and unique, this little fuse. So um, what do I want to do with that? I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah, and, that, and that's a great question. That would, that's what kind of makes the, the firecracker interesting. So when we yeah. first uh, you know, launched the firecracker, we developed it in, in 2006 and then launched it in 2007. It was, it was just the idea of celebrating uh, Independence Day, 4th of July. Let's get a little uh, short Vitola. It's a three and a half by 50. We want something with a lot of power. And we want the extra tobacco to look like a fuse. And, you know, most yeah. of, not most of the time. Uh, you know, it's either a cap, but if there's extra tobacco, they'll make a, a little pigtail. Yeah. So we wanted it to look uh, look like a firecracker. And that was developed by David Garofalo uh, of Two Guys Two Guys Smoke Shop. And yeah. when, when he developed the, the firecracker, that fuse has always been that, you know, that, that question mark, what do I do with the, with the yeah. fuse? So I'll, I'll tell you what I do. I, okay. I do, I usually do a straight cut okay. on the Me firecracker too. and then I'll take the extra fuse out. Uh, okay. And say, sometimes if you take, if you take the fuse out first and then cut it, 
then it makes it just makes a nice display for pitchers. Uh, you know, if you want to take okay. a shot of the firecracker after you leave it on the side, some people do leave the wick in there. And, and I've had some people tell me, Oh, it adds a little bit of extra flavor when I'm smoking it and it hits oh. the diffuse part. I, I just found maybe it's the way my, my mouth works. I don't get a proper seal when the fuse or the wick is, is still on there. So I like to take it, take it off. That stop makes it, sense. And then, okay. And well, then that's what I'm going to do. Light. So you, you cut it first. And then you take the wick. Yeah, so I'll take the I'll take the 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 wick off first, and then okay. I'll I'll put that through the the cutter the guillotine hole. I mean, it looks then, like a firecracker. <laughs> so yeah, it looks funny. great. Yeah, it so awesome. I'll put, I'll put that wick through the cutter, and then okay. go down and then cut the top of the cigar. Okay, that's what I will do. And then after that, it you know the firecracker, our firecracker. When I, when I say our our firecracker, I'll explain that. But our firecracker um, has a, a closed foot, so there's there's it's un, oh, un, yeah. unfinished unfinished foot. So you have a little My bit of extra tobacco there. My yeah, foot is shaggy. My foot is shaggy. You say it shaggy? Right. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Hi, yeah, I love so that in a um, cigar. Actually, I like a really rust. Like that's just my favorite as far as visual it has nothing to do with smoking it, but I just love really rustic cigars. I think because the first cigar I ever had was a Toscano mm -hmm. and those are just so, you know, they're misshapen and they're bumpy and they're just rough. Right. And I just think I it's intriguing. So yeah. Yeah, I, a, I love a, a shaggy foot. And also I think it lights really nice. Yeah, it, it does. It just adds a little glow to it. And if you're you're outside at night and you do it away from your clothes, when that part's lit, if you just blow on the end as it's lit, that tobacco kind of flies. It almost looks like little sparks as well. So it just kind of adds to the whole firecracker thing. Okay, well, it's not going to be nighttime here for a while, no. but um, I will yeah, have to early. try that with the next one because that sounds fun. That's a good time. <laughs> and when, so it, it, real quick, when I said, you know, our firecracker, so you know, the unique thing about um, the United Firecracker is that we collaborate with a, a new manufacturer every year. And we were we were really we're, we're, look, we're excited every year when there's a new manufacturer that wants to work with us. And okay. we already have the next couple of years lined up. But this year we just um, launched the Wise Man Firecracker with Nick Melillo of Foundation Cigars. So okay. that just that just went out to retailers. Uh, it was a tremendous response, and it's a, it's a phenomenal cigar. So if you can get your hands on it, uh, I I would love to have uh, you know hear your opinion. If I if I can find some, I'll even uh, I'll, I'll send you one to try. Yeah. Okay. That'd be fun. Yeah, um, it's a fantastic cigar. Okay. Sounds great. Um, what was I going to say? Um, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves because I lit the cigar. I would just like you to. Um, talk about two guys smoke shop and kind of the beginning of united yeah so so you united cigars was formed by by david garofalo back in um oh it must have been about 2010 but uh he's been he's been on the retail side for about 35 That's years smart. now um and he was he was developing brands for you know for himself and for uh you know some other shop owners and united cigars was formed as i said in 2010 and from there, he was really just trying to bring the brands that were created um, out to to the the out to the country. I started with United Cigars in 2016, and it was still and we still are just a very small boutique company. Um, mm -hmm. But we're trying to build you know all all these brands that I feel are are very well constructed, which is you know first and, and foremost, two blended very well with with aged tobacco, so you have very nice uh, flavor profiles. And, and then the cigars are very unique. Um, you know, I've, I've been focusing a lot on our, our packaging and, and quality control uh, over the last couple of years. But, um, yeah, as I said, I started in 2016 and from there really started trying to, uh, to, to build United and, and get the name out. So as a company, we manufacture some cigars and then we also distribute cigars. So okay. under the portfolio, we have Atabay, Byron and Bandolero that we distribute for selected tobacco. And those so is are, that kind of yeah. unique? Is that kind of unique to have your own cigar and then also kind of have a portfolio of others? Um, I, I guess unique in a way because you'll have you'll have 
you'll have companies that are man that are legitimate manufacturer um, producers distributors of cigars like like Perdomo is very vertical I mean they're they're growing their own tobacco they're making their own boxes they make their cigars and then they sell it uh, to retailers and then you okay. have other other companies that are that do manufacture cigars but they manufacture them with other with another factory and they only have one line but they don't own the factory uh, they don't buy the tobacco they just have the factory work on the blends and and they okay them and and you know based on what they they like and then they distribute them from them from there okay um so united cigar might be unique in that way where we we don't own the factory but we work with magia cubana in the dominican republic to make uh, a few of our blends like united the firecracker our our bundle which is classic uh our dos hombre cabinet is made from there so we we have quite a few cigars from one manufacturer and then from there we have other lines that are made by by other companies as well so our Lagian is made at the camacho factory by davidoff in honduras oh, okay. um we just put out the jre uh or sorry we just put out the abuelo made by jre tobacco um, okay just that that just came out so we're real excited about that one okay um, Ooh, nice so, box yeah, so so we we work with manufacturers that make cigars for us, and then we also um, distribute cigars for other other companies. And right now, uh, the selected tobacco that's Nelson Alfonso that's made in Costa Rica, but we we distribute the Atabe Byron Bandolero for him. Okay. Wow. So you guys are busy. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's a, it's, right? a, it's a busy it's a busy busy time, and plus the some of these brands have been around for uh quite a long time la giana yeah. for example has been a uh, is a brand that's been around for uh, around 27 years okay. uh we've had we had the the anniversary where we updated the packaging and we just launched what which is what i'm smoking but um the la giana angelic oh nice so okay. the the angelic has a little halo on the top uh -huh. and that halo just represents the the sweet line in in uh in la giana so la giana the the angelic comes in a, a nice white box but there are three different lines we have the natural and the maduro and then the angelic is a sweet tipped uh okay premium premium cigar so it's a nice nice combination uh nice wow. addition to the line yeah okay that's intriguing too i'll have to try that too um so i just met you at um tpe and i think i mean i told you then that i was like i keep seeing this united cigar united cigar all over instagram and i was like i don't i don't know united cigar so i stopped by to see you which is great and um i just want to show this beauty this classic uh yeah our united right yeah and that that went through a repackage just about two years ago as well just to update it well I am a box press fan. So when I saw this cigar, I was like, this is going to be my cigar. So um, it's kind of moved into my top five. Wow. Thank Somebody you fell so away so and you replaced it, but I won't say who fell away, but. Oh, that's phenomenal. That means that's, 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 that's humbling because, you know, it, it's humbling in so many ways, even, even for larger manufacturers that, you know, have cigars that have been out there for a while. You know, I can't speak for them, but I know that you know someone mentions that a cigar is one of their top five favorites. Um, you know, it means a lot to them. But for for someone you know like like myself working for United, as small as we are, to yeah. have a brand that really was uh, you know unknown just a few years ago, uh, yeah. for you to say that it means it means a lot. It means a lot. Well, I'm really a fan of boutique cigars, and I mean I talk about it all the time on here, and that's you know. Um, I smoke a lot of boutiques because I like, I like the idea of these small companies. I like the idea of people coming in and just kind of mixing it up and trying new things and, um, different blends. And I love the, the small boutique companies. I love the passion mm. that, I mean, you guys pour everything into it. You're trying to get your cigars out there. There's just that passion comes through to me in the cigar, in the construction of the cigar and the packaging and the blends. It's just like, I just feel like boutique cigar makers 
want to do so well that they're they just put extra effort into it. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I I agree with you, and I think that that runs um, you know across several industries when you find you know uh yeah. say someone's just starting a, you know they have they have a coffee shop but they're roasting their own coffee yeah. there's something there's just such a mystique behind it a passion and and such a story behind it that you gravitate towards it and you want to be a part of it and you want to support them because you can see the hard work and the de- dedication that they're putting into it yeah. not to say that other you know large companies aren't doing it but they don't necessarily have their hands on on every aspect so when you meet somebody like I, you know i know last week casey was talking about it um you know, and I'm the same. We're, you know, we're, we're a small boutique company. So um, I just got back from the Dominican. Uh, I was working on packaging down there. I went to the, you know, the, the printing company that we work with, um, you know, looking at, at some of the tobaccos that they, that they had, they were, um, you know, showing us that they're going to use uh, in some of our blends. Um, you know, every, really every aspect of the business, you, you have a, a piece of, because to, to be honest, we still have that time, even though time limited, it feels like my, my days are, going by faster and faster um we have that time to to kind of touch on every little piece and and mm-hmm. and there there there's to be said about um you know really any any small company that's really trying to trying to make it you can feel the passion and everything they do right i agree i mean and you know that's kind of the american way right everybody starting businesses and i'm i'm always rooting for the little guy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 100%. Um, I was going to say to, oh, um, tell me about your stars for vet veterans. Oh, yeah. That stars was- for our, stars for our troops. Stars for our troops. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm so glad you brought that. Yeah. Brought and that before, up. Um, while you're, while you're looking for a star, I'm going to tell, cause some more people joined, we're doing a giveaway at the end. Um, and the way I'm going to choose, or I'm going to choose who, gets the giveaway you have to ask a question or comment so i see that a couple people are on but i've only had one person comment so those of you who are watching better think of a question (laughs) okay go ahead all right so we um so united cigars when when i i I was down in the dominican like i said about two two three years ago redesigned the packaging i wanted it to have that that feel again because united cigars was actually formed um originally back in the early 1900s and it was a, a retailer that had about you know, over 3,000 locations uh, across the country and they had a very you know very classic very American uh, patriotic logo so we we captured that when we we adopted the name and we captured that but I wanted something you know a little more red white and blue and and I came across I, I was I have a friend that's a, a vet and he gave me uh, a star that was cut out from an American flag and just had a little descriptor on the back. And he said, you know, hey, I just want to you know, pass this along. And uh, this is for the men and women that are out there and we're supporting them. So we're just bringing awareness. And I always held on to that. And over the years, I said, wow, I could I would love to be able to incorporate this because by supporting that foundation, then you know, we're giving back to the vets and the, and the men and women yeah. that, that, you know, uh, protect our country and give us our, our freedoms. And then it's also, I can place it in a box because I, I think it kind of fits the theme. And then other people could get the star. And maybe it brings more awareness to the, to the foundation. So United Cigars, we started putting a, uh, we're going to put this, a star in the front. It just, this is a, the first box from the factory, uh, a star in the front, just to indicate that it has a star in it. And when you open the box, uh, moving forward, every box of United Cigars will have this star. Wow! In so whoever opens the box will will get this. If you buy the box, you'll have it. Or if a retailer opens it, on the back it just has a little description of the the foundation and just thanking uh, first responders and and men and women in the in the service and and our vets. So um, it, it means a lot to me. I, you know, I wasn't fortunate enough to to serve the the country, but um, but I, I do have a tremendous respect. Uh, for the men and women that uh, that do, uh, even you know, our first responders, not only military. Absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we started doing that, and that's going to be in the in every box of United Cigars moving forward. So uh, again, by doing that, it, we that get back so to the great. foundation, and then hopefully somebody sees that star and they want to do the same. And and yeah. you can really support the foundation too by by donating a small amount. They'll send you some stars, and then you can hand out the stars to 
um, to, to whomever you like. That's really cool. If somebody did an event or something and they had a bunch of stars, they could um, sell them for the foundation. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, as long as the money's money. going back to, yeah, as long as the yeah, money's going back to Yeah, it's very cool. Um, and we should say, too, that those stars are cut out of like retired American flags. They're not just like Correct. cutting out flags. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. right. So flags, yeah, retired flags are sent to yeah. the foundation. And then they take those those flags, and then the the vets that are are there, they cut out the, the stars themselves and uh, and place them yeah. in these these little ziploc protective bags. God, I think that's so cool. It's just yeah. the greatest thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, like I said, just want to bring awareness, and if we could do you know just a little part, then then we want to do that. Yeah. I got it. You gave me a little star, and I just love it. So I've been telling people about it. I I just think it's great. I mean, I think it's. And that's another thing that I just see a lot with boutique cigar com companies too, is there's frequently like a give back like that. And uh, I just think that's really neat. I mean. Yeah, I think in, in, you know, in general, we should, we should all do that. Just give a little bit back and mm -hmm. you know, pay, pay it forward a little bit. And, you know, hopefully just, yeah. you, you know, you can, you can only do so much uh you know in, in the world you can only give so much so if, if uh, a little little gesture like this helps on our part and then it, it touches someone else and they can do something then all the more yeah yeah and it's so easy and like you said small so it's easy to do and um okay so now i just have to say i'm gonna, oh you know what let's talk about before i talk about how delicious this is i'm actually surprised i thought it was gonna be really strong Right with, made, the, with the name, yeah. <laughs> I made this really icy drink, um, thinking that this was going to be really strong, and it's uh, it's really not. It's it's medium, maybe medium. to me. It it's a yeah. good it's a good medium, and when you when you look at the blend, it has Dominican. It's an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, uh, okay. Dominican Lejero, Nicaraguan Lejero. It has a little bit of Pennsylvanian um, broadleaf that gives a little bit of, of sweetness and kind of tones down the Lajeros, uh, but it has, it's good, I would say good, stable, medium, but uh, but some nice pepperiness that's, that I just feel is balanced. It's not overpowering. Yeah, I'm not a person who likes a lot of pepper and this is really nice. Like it yeah, has that uh, quality, but it's not like too overpowering. Um, and the pepper, I don't know. It's almost more cinnamony or something to me. It's almost right. like a, maybe because of the sweetness. Maybe the sweetness makes the pepper seem more like a. Yeah. So for you, like it'd be cinnamon. you know you say yeah you say cinnamon because cinnamon's a little sweet and spicy, so that that sweetness kind of that's what I mean. It it's it, it makes that pepperiness a little more subtle. Yeah. So a little more to me a little. It's more It's really nice. I'm just. Yeah. It's really nice. And I thought it would might burn really hot because it's small, but um, and look, it's just perfect ash. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're and enjoying lots this. of smoke. That's my yeah. other favorite. Um, yeah, I like a lot of smoke and a really easy draw. And this has absolutely has both. Okay, I'm gonna take this label off, but I'm gonna totally save it. It's so cool. Yeah, and that the firecracker just went through uh, a full repack as well. So it's. It's been a busy, uh, you know, busy, yeah. busy year you know, during that, that, uh, you know, the, the, you know, these last 20, 20 months, it's, um, you know, we kept our, ourselves busy and we went through, uh, you know, some changes and, uh, it, but we, we thought that when the pandemic started, everyone was trying to figure out what was going to happen. You know, places were closing down, you know, offices were closing. And then all of a sudden about a month and a half into it, then it just started to explode. Uh -huh. uh, everybody was, everybody's working from home. Everyone's smoking more. But that firecracker just went through that that repackage for that. Yeah. That new band. God, it's and, so beautiful. Thank you, thank you. And then the the box is the same. It's a box of box of twenty five. That's like a nice little nice little repackage on it. God, it's really neat. Yeah. It would make a really neat ring. I could just take that to a ring maker yeah. and say, make that for me. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Maybe that, that God, could be the, that next, was, the mean, next thing. Look at that's cool. <laughs> I like 
like yeah, it. Yeah, it's got I'll be the yeah. first customer. Yeah, Firecracker. Um, yeah, Firecracker is interesting. We got uh, so as I said, we had the Wise Man Maduro that just just came out. So Fourth of July, Independence Day, Firecracker is the way to go. United we smoke. That's the way to the way to live. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's so great. I'm so glad I could have you on very close to Fourth of July because it's just, um, just like you know, with your star program and everything, it's just so great. Love it. Well, that actually, yeah, yeah, and now that I think of it, the um, you know, Lagiana, we tried to. So, I, I was when you look at branding uh, the company again. United's the the name of the company, and we have the 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 United box. We have the red, white, and blue. The stripes, even on La Giana, that angelic is a is a white box. The natural is a red box. The Maduro is a blue box. So when they're displayed on the shelf for for retailers, you're going to have also the red, white, and blue right next to each other. So nice. You know, just with everything that we're doing, we just try to you know keep the keep the theme keep the yeah. theme going. It's great. Well, look at that big flag behind you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that too. Oh, that's and that's that's where you know the 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 stars for our troops and when that was given to me that was that also popped in my head because at, at cigar events uh that that we do for united i like to try and make sure that um you know we we actually give away a flag as one of the one of the prizes so i'll go out and buy a flag and and a pole that's so that a can great idea yeah set it up at their set it up at their house and um yeah you know everyone says oh you know i should get a flag and yeah a lot of people do but uh, you know, if they if they have one, maybe they need an updated one, or if they, yeah. if they have one, maybe they can give it to a neighbor or a friend. Yeah, I always um, well, I always want to fly it. I don't always fly it, but I have a vintage, an antique flag that only has forty eight stars. Wow. I know. That, yeah, I it's, don't even know if I would want to fly that. I want to display it, but yeah. I know. I'm afraid somebody might steal it. Yeah. I mean, they wouldn't know, but, you know, sometimes people don't. I don't know. I'm just always afraid. I used to live in Oregon, and people would steal flags when you put them up. Really? Yeah, I lived in Portland, and people were not patriotic at all. And so whenever I put the flag out, it would frequently get stolen. Wow, because they didn't want you I know. To... Look, you're speechless. No. <laughs> that's, that's that's Oregon. Offend that's, that's offensive. Portland. <laughs> you know, remember the, remember the Bugs? weird Portland, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was almost like the bug. It was like a Bugs Bunny. I think it was a Bugs Bunny. It was a Looney Tunes cartoon where they, they went and they almost, they took a saw and they sawed off. I think it was California and let it drift out. Oh, So geez. they should do that. They should do that with Oregon. If, you know, if Oregon yeah. want to be a part of the U.S. and saw it off. I agree. It right. I agree. <laughs> I've always been, I'm very liberal. I mean, I don't make, I don't hide it. I'm very liberal, but I'm very, I'm a patriotic liberal. So I always tell people just because I'm liberal doesn't mean I don't like my country and I support the military. My brother was a naval officer, career naval officer. Um, and I was actually in ROTC in college, in oh, Navy wow. ROTC. And I, the only reason I did not join is because that was in, I'm gonna date myself. That was in like 1980 and so, um, Back then, women couldn't be in any kind of combat position. So it was like I was going to end up with a secretary job. And I thought, well, I don't need to be in the military to right. get a secretary job. So um, I didn't sign, but I sometimes regret it. Yeah, but I, I think that, I mean, it's 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 crazy to hear, to hear that. But if we, you know, part of the, uh, and we're not going to solve the world's problems here, but I think part of the the issues that we're running through right now as a, as a country is that we almost we're, we we forget a little bit how young we are. Like 1980, it's I mean it's 40 years ago now, but 1980, like it's nothing for for the history of a <laughs> for the history of a country, you know. But it's it's nothing, um, right? But we've we've you know we've come we've come so far, and there's still a lot that we need to we need to fix and we need to do. But it's you know, little by little, but as as a country, we're we're so young, um, you know that we we're we're, we're learning every day how yeah. to how to fix what was what was what we thought was correct, in, you know, to be in place at the time. Yeah. So and just trying to get the ideals to kind of shift along with the changing world. It's you know that's 
that's the whole thing, right? I mean, if if everybody could just sit down together with a cigar, right? Solve, solve a lot of problems. <laughs> that's the truth. I know. I think I agree. I agree. But that's one thing I love about the cigar community is, you know, like I have followers from around the world and, you know, we, we just all have a common uh, thing that we like. And then you just end up talking and it's, it's just so nice, you know? Right. Um, Yeah. It's, it's the bridge, you know, kind of it connects us all, all together, all walks of life. You can sit down. It's, it's amazing when you walk in and, and you see a shop, you have every, every walk of life in there. Yeah, exactly. Um, tell me about, you were telling me about um, Cigar Journal. That's oh, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, so every every year, uh, well, Cigar Journal is a publication in Europe and it's distributed in the U.S. Uh, as well. But every year they, they come out with, um, a, you know, you can, you can nominate brands for different categories. And, and this year we're, you know, fortunate enough to be nominated again for Best Cigar of uh, from other countries, so we have the Atabay Ritos that was that was nominated for that. So, uh, yeah, if everybody everybody listening uh, out there could just you know jump on Cigar Joe and go vote. Oh not yeah, only, yeah. Not only take a look at uh, you know the Atabay Ritos, but there there are so many categories like um, you know best cigar from Nicaragua, best cigar from the Dominican, best Cuban cigar. Um, you know there there are a lot of categories, so you can go out and vote for your your favorite cigars, but uh, you know, Cigar Journal allows the, you know, the the people to make a vote. Um, so tell me again, where would where would they go to vote? So if they go to cigarjournal dot com, okay, then they'll see then they'll see a section down there that just says uh, it'll say vote uh, for cigar of the uh, cigar of the year. Let me check real quick. Okay, but uh, but yeah, cigar cigarjournal dot com. And it used to be at the at the very top as soon as you get there. But if you scroll down about halfway down, it's uh, it's cigar trophy for 2021. Vote now, and you have until uh, you have until uh, the 11th of June. So voting just started, and uh, it's cigar trophy time. It says time to vote. Can you only vote once, or can you vote? Uh, I th- I think you can only vote once. Uh, okay. It's based on your well, unless you have multiple email addresses. Then. <laughs> you can vote oh the time. yes. Yeah. <laughs> So okay, we, so when this show is done, I will go and do it. And then I want to say to Marcio, he said, I definitely need to get me a United Sampler. Well, you know what? Um, because you commented, your name is going to go into it. We're going to do a little giveaway at the end of this, and you're, there's going to be a sampler. And um, there's only three people have commented, so your chances are 33%. It's a good, right? good percentage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told everybody to either you either have to comment or ask a question, and only three people have done it. So, Marcio, you just might Good. do something. We're gonna do it at the end, so stay hang Good in. Good odds. We'll, Good odds. We'll do it. Um, so, and you brought up Atabe. I still haven't had an Atabe, but um, a couple people have smoked them when I'm with them, and they're like, "I love this." Atabe so, is a very yeah, very unique cigar so what what makes atabe great first uh atabe there are 12 12 vitolas for for atabe um it it's a cigar that is unique and i, I say that because the uh, the blend's undisclosed it has a little bit of peruvian tobacco in the in the filler and then a, a very thin ecuadorian wrapper so mm. the the different with between the the portfolio there are so many unique flavor profiles uh, because you get to taste the wrapper more. Like the Scriptus is the Lancero for Atomy. And I, I, I think you have such a, uh, an amazing understanding of how impactful the wrapper can be when, when you're smoking the Lancero. But mm-hmm. Atabay, Atabay, well, really, Atabay, Byron, and Bandolero, all by, all by Nelson Alfonso. What makes that entire line uh, and portfolio unique is that he'll age the cigars post roll. And you know, typically a cigar, oh. a cigar is aged. Um, you know, but you have sixty days, ninety days, one hundred and twenty days. Some even less uh, because they're rolled and they, you know, they try to get them out. But what Nelson does that makes it unique is he'll take the cigars after they're rolled, he'll place them into an aging room, 
And when when I first really, I've been I've been smoking cigars since uh, I don't even know, you know, late eighties. Um, I always thought a cigar when it was aged, it meant that I bought a box, I put it into my humidor, and five years later, it's five years old. That's an aged cigar. Well, when I started working for United Cigars and I, I met Nelson, what he does that's different. He has a, he has an, a, a true aging room. And in that room, he has five different cedars that line the entire room. He uses Cuban cedar, Mexican, Spanish, Brazilian, and Lebanese cedars. Those cedar planks are about one inch thick because he'll sand it down. He'll shave down the, the entire room to give it a fresh layer. And he wants a fresh layer in there because during the course of anywhere from two to five years, He'll bring humidity down to 40% and then back up to 70. So the cigar, when it goes down to 40%, it's it's shrinking. It's purging out any any impurities. And then as it grows and breathes in all that, that humidity, when he's tr- gradually going back up to 70, it's breathing in all those different cedar notes. So while he's doing that, it cleans the tobacco. Uh, it makes it much more refined, and then aging a cigar that way, it allows the tobacco to rest and properly marry together. That blend will will really blend well together, and that's what makes Atabe Byron Bandolero very smooth uh, and and very clean on the palate. Bandolero is aged a uh, minimum of two years. Byron, depending on the 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 year and the uh, the blend, is aged anywhere from three to five years, and Atabe is aged for a minimum of five years. Wow. So it's incredible. Wow. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to get you. I need to smoke one and see if my palate can really <laughs> yeah, taste yeah. That. You, I'm you know, sure. We, I, I was lucky enough to sit with you uh after TPE uh uh-huh. at the casino. We you know, we were talking about uh one guy that's a big fan was sitting with us uh who loves Adabay and that's that's Mike G. Yeah. Was, He's uh, the one I was just with recently and he was smoking one, he was God, I love this cigar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like dude, I was just, I was just talking to him on my uh, way home from work today. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great guy. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Hopefully you'll uh, you'll get to try one. I'll I'll send one out to you. Okay. Um. So Marcio said he just voted, <laughs> and he said Atabe, hands down best cigar I've ever smoked. So wow. Yeah. That, thank you. <laughs> now we just have to get him to smoke some of these because he's going to really like this beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. The, you know, God. Yeah. I mean, when you take this out in a lounge and start smoking it, it's, it makes a it's, statement, right? <laughs> uh, that's a, yeah. The, the United Cigar to me is, is my, my everyday. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice box press, very woody, leathery. Very easy draw, tons of smoke production that uh, that I know you you like. Um, the Maduro has a Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Mm-hmm. We use Dominican fillers on the natural and Maduro, but the 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 one piece that I think is is unique is the uh, the Brazilian Matafina that we use in the filler. Um, okay, that gives it also a little little sweetness uh, as well. Yeah, so it makes it uh, makes that blend fantastic. Yeah, I like a San Andreas wrapper too. A lot of the yeah. cigars I that are my favorites have have that included. So yeah, they're very, um, very rich, rich wrappers. Yeah. Okay, so um you have to go pretty soon, don't you? Me? Yeah. No, I got time. I got time with you. Are you kicking you me got off time? before we're leaving? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I got time. Okay. Um so I'm going to um, do my review. So I already kind of did a review, I guess. The construction on this is perfect. And I might add that it's windy here. And a lot of times when I'm smoking cigars, the wind will just take the ash right off my cigar. Or it makes it burn weird. Um, This is burnt perfectly. I mean, I just ashed it, but look at it. It's just almost completely even perfect draw absolutely perfect draw lots of smoke um medium it's got 
like we said, kind of that pepper or that bite, but, um, but a sweetness to it makes me taste more like cinnamon than pepper. And I kind of want to say that it has a fruit note in it. Yeah. I, I think not, that's that. Yeah, but that's I'm not that's sure the what, but not tart, not tart fruit, like maybe. An apple or something. Yeah. Not a, not a, not something citrusy, but like a sweet, something sweet. Yeah, a little sweet, sweet fruit, but yeah. not overly, yeah, not overly But not sweet. sweet. Like if you're a person who doesn't like sweet cigars, you're not going to smoke this and go, oh my God, it's too sweet. Oh, it's no. not like that. It's just a, a mellowness that's sweet. Um, oh, somebody said like a fig. Fig, yeah, fig is very common. Yeah. Um, great. I think I think that's the, you know, that's the beauty about a cigar. And, and when a cigar is reviewed, you have to look at multiple reviews because everyone's palate is different. And when you say like, you know, again, you said cinnamon. Well, that was you. Know, that's a little bit of sweet and a little bit of a spice. So someone mm -hmm. else may pick it out and say, yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting, you know, uh, maybe maybe cherry and white pepper. You, you know, yeah, but they didn't, they didn't combine the two and spicy together is different than. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Our, it palates, is are, our palates are different. We taste different things. Um, you know, you're, you're drinking a, a creamy drink. You said so that, you know, that that'll help soften, soften. Everything. Yeah. Um, I'm drinking. What I made was, I don't know if I told everybody, but I made a, like a Frappuccino kind of, I, so it's a really strong coffee with, um, um, Woodford Reserve coffee, a little bit of milk, and a whole bunch of ice, and I blended it like a frappuccino, like a grown-up frappuccino. And it's there delicious it with this. Because um, this, I don't know, it just goes really well with the coffee. It's just, yeah. it's just very, um, it's something you can smoke all the time. It's very, um, smooth or something that i'm really i really like it and i thought it was going to be like strong or something because of the name oh yeah you're right right because of, because of the name when you you know you look at it and it's got the the wick on it it's going to be overpowering it's it, it's not it's just a uh, you know from what what i feel it's a very well balanced cigar it yeah. has the right you know flavor profile it's not overpowering so it can you know but for someone who smokes a lot um, they'll appreciate it because it has it has nice flavor and balance. And somebody that doesn't yeah. smoke very often, but they're looking for something uh, different or unique, it would it, it's still subtle enough where it's not going to overpower. Yeah. Um, somebody just asked, "What's the wrapper on the United Natural?" Uh, that's an Ecuadorian Ecuadorian uh, Habano wrapper. Okay. So it, it's still very. It's a dark wrapper. But it's uh you know it's not a, a Connecticut Ecuadorian like this is Ecuadorian Connecticut. Okay. Uh, the natural is an Ecuadorian. I don't have the natural with me. It's an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Okay. I'm not sure which one I have here. This is not the natural. I don't. No, think. that that looks like the Maduro. It's darker. Yeah. Yeah. I think I smoked the natural already. Oops. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah. It was good. But um, I had a little surprise with it. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, okay. So what I'm going to say is, so I have to do my film pairing with my flavor profile. So that's what I do on this show is I pair um, for, because there's some people here on here that I have, don't think I know. So they might not know me, but so my show, I do cigar reviews and then I do a uh, Hollywood film pairing um, because I think that cigars and film go really well together. And one time I was watching a movie, smoking a <clears throat> cigar, and I was like, this is not the right cigar for this movie. Um, <laughs> and so then I realized that, you know, a flavor profile in a cigar tells a story. And as you smoke it, it's kind of a journey and it changes flavors as it goes and intensity and all of that, and just like a movie. And so it's 
kind of really fun to um, pair them up. So the movie that I picked with this is Lincoln, the movie Lincoln. Wow, with the firecracker. Yeah, I like it. I like so, it. So, and the reason why is the is kind of like I went with the mood of that movie. Um, this tastes really. Um, I mean, this is going to sound silly to some people, but it tastes really regal. Like it has this presence that's not overpowering, but it's you know it's there, and uh, it's it's kind of like the mood of that movie was very um, dark. You know how it, there a lot of the scenes were at night. A lot, yeah, a lot of passion because they were. I mean, it's, yes, uh -huh. uh, you, know, you know, at both sides, both sides battling. Yeah, uh, not 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 in war, but you know the you know both sides of the party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and and yet, I like it. You, yeah, yeah. So that's what I I think this would be great because you would not forget that you're smoking this while you're watching that movie. And it just tastes really like, you know, it just has a nice tobacco flavor, a really nice presence, and it just tastes kind of regal, mm. you know? And the band is like so it. cool. <laughs> so that's my <laughs> pairing. I so like now that. I want to put you on the spot and see if you, um, what are you smoking? Uh, it, You're not well, smoking the so no, but if I was smoking the firecracker, if I had to pair with a movie, I'd have to yeah. go back to the original, the original Red Dawn. Well, from what I thought, oh. it was before. <laughs> I go Red Dawn. Like, okay, you know, we're getting, you know, we get invaded, and I don't know where, and we have to come together. We're going up into, we're escaping into the mountains, and then we have to, yeah. you know, free the free the town. And you know, what better way to do it than? You know, showing your patriotism and it's been a long time since I've seen that. Who was in that movie? Oh, was pa like Patrick like a Swayze. Whole bunch of cool people. Yeah. 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 Was, yeah. Patrick. Uh, Patrick Swayze. Was Keeper Sutherland in it? Um. It seemed like his age group. They were young when that movie came out. And there was a bunch yeah. of people, kind of like. I can't I remember who was in it, but it was a, a, several like. I don't think he was in it. Um, no, I, I know I don't. I don't. I don't know the actor's name, and uh, I'm terrible with names of actors. Anyway, I think it was. Uh, remember Pony Boy from The Outsiders? Yeah. I think he was. He was in that movie. I don't know the actor's name. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I mean, it wasn't a lot. Of, a lot of big name actors Charlie that Sheen. I that I can remember. Charlie oh, Sheen was so, in it. So we're getting Charlie Sheen and. Okay. Thomas Howell, Leah Thompson, Leah Thompson Jennifer Gray, Jennifer Gray Ben, Johnson, oh, yeah, Jen ben Johnson, Harry Dean Stanton, Harry Dean Stanton Ron O'Neill, William Smith, William Smith and Powers Booth. I want Powers Booth. Powers Booth? I don't know. That. <laughs> I don't know. He's probably Powers in booth. there for five minutes. Right. Some old guy. <laughs> I know, yeah, I had no idea. Uh, but I'm, I'm smoking the, yeah, I'm smoking the La Giana, the Angelic. Oh, okay. I went with the, I went with the Angelic because we we just we really just got him in. Um, we we haven't we haven't even done a, a press release or, or let anybody know that it's out there. But uh, I was so excited, I wanted to you know bring a bring a box and and share it. Um, so I'm smoking the La Giana. It's it's a Honduran blend, as I said. It's made by uh, by Davidoff at the Camacho factory in Honduras. Uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper and Honduran, Honduran filler and binder, a uh, little sweet tip. So very elegant and soft. Um, I don't watch a lot of elegant and soft nice. movies. So this, this is yeah, going to be a hard right? one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. <Chick -flicks. laughs> uh, right. Eat, pray, uh, love you know, or something. I, I, no, I might go back to uh, My Fair Lady. I'll go way back. Mm. Start, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a cigar. So when you look at a cigar, um, you would say, "Well, that's not that it's brutal, but it's a little it's a little rough, right?" Uh, you know, cigars are rough, right? Cigars, yeah. are, 
and that's how you know my fair lady started it's very rough yeah and right be, but then you light it up you cut it and you realize how elegant a cigar yeah. can be um and so that that would be that would be the La Giana portfolio across the board but the La Giana angelic uh would be the that's a lady. great that's a great pairing you totally get it <laughs> some people are like huh what i don't, I don't know i actually <laughs> that's the, perfect the first time i i saw that that movie was uh so i live in in boston massachusetts and mm -hmm. there's the wang center and they used to show old movies like on you know on on weeknights and or on the, on the weekends and it was one showing and they would just show random old movies and my fair lady was there and a bunch of us just went down and checked it out and i i was amazed i i was like oh, all right i'll go see my fair lady and uh, yeah, it was it's actually a classic good movie. It's a it's classic. A classic. I, I, it's I've like Mary it Poppins. You gotta yeah. see it. Yeah. Oh, Mary Poppins. Right. <laughs> that brings back memories. Yeah. What a what a brilliant. That was that was such a, a brilliant movie though. Right. Mary Poppins. Yeah. What a classic. Right. Yeah. I go. Yeah. I wonder what I'd pair my yeah Mary Poppins with. Hmm. I'd have to. That'd have to be a. It'd have, have to be a fun. Fun. Cigar. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to think about that too. Somebody on here, um, Dave Farina, said, "Any plans for line extensions on the United cigars? For which cigars? On the United cigars? Oh, tech. Um, yeah, United cigars is um, is a line that that has has been around for a while. So we have the the three Vitolas of uh, Robusto, Toro, Churchill, and then we have a very unique cigar called the Pencil." uh it's it's i mean shaped like a pencil very thin i think i think you, you may i gave you some at the at the show uh and no. that's a great in, be, in between oh no all right so i I'll, haven't I'll had that one but i just smoked a crux nymphomaniac and it's a nymphomaniac nymphomaniac it's nymphomaniac. a pencil because i was a, asking somebody what is this shape called it's so i mean it's like a lancero but skinny and um Somebody said it's like a pencil. So then when I read that you guys had a pencil shape, I was like, that's it. Oh, that's wow. a fun yeah. cigar. Now that could be a Mary Poppins, maybe. That could be that could be the Mary Poppins one. Yeah, maybe maybe the pencil. Just very uh very fun, fun, unique. Um yeah. yeah, so so as far as the line extension, um, you know, that's that's a, a interesting question because I have I was looking when we were doing events for something unique and, and different, and I'm a big fan of Lanceros. So when I when I um, started going down more and more and frequenting the the Dominican, I started looking at something that I could do that that would make the the events unique. Uh, so you know, it's, it's very very common to have a um, a uh, an event only cigar. So I did yeah. a, a United Lancero, but uh, but that's not not in the portfolio. It's not for sale. It's it's just something that uh, that I, I hand okay. out when when I'm uh, when I'm out and about. So, but yeah, the the pencil. Just to go back to that art, because I'm not I'm not overly familiar with the uh, uh, nymph nymphomaniac. Yeah, it's you know what I found out it was their very first cigar. That was their first because this. So the pencil is a six by twenty-eight. So it's very thin, very absolutely. Uh, it's long, like a pencil. Cigar. It's like those yeah. pencils we used in, as a kid that were a little <laughs> bit fatter than the regular. Yeah, right. Um, Interesting. It was their very first cigar, and they haven't made it for two years. So I don't. I just bumped into it and bought a couple packs, and they have now changed the label. So the ones I have are going to be retired and they're unique so oh, wow. we'll see when it comes out what it's like but i mean that that's the only pencil shape i know of is them and then the one you have and then yeah and then our uh, and that comes in natural and maduro so i'll have to i'll have to get you um i'll have to get you some of those as yeah well i have the natural i oh no i don't Do have that no i don't have the pencil by you mm -mm. okay so we'll have to we'll have to remedy that. <laughs> okay, so tell people where's the best place for them to go to buy United Cigars. 
Oh, that you're going to put me on the spot there for the best place. We have I, I have so many great retailers, uh, and they do you know a lot of a lot of our retailers have a, have a great online presence. Um, okay. So yeah, I, our we're we're redesigning the website now, uh, but if you go to the site, um, or if you go to if you go to our Instagram United Cigars, um, you can always they can always send me a message. Uh, I, I handle our, our social media. So they can send me okay. a message. Let me know what uh, what 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 city they're in or what they're close to, and I can direct them to a retailer. Uh, or if they yeah they they do a search uh, for any particular line, uh, they can find it online as well. Okay, and that's and we, that's I always tell people follow. You know, every time I have somebody on the show, it's like follow them. Like yeah, y- you keep apprised yeah. of what's new, what's happening, what's coming out, where to get things. Um, mm-hmm. The good, yeah. the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's nice that, that you be. run the um, that you run the social media too, because sometimes you don't know who you're talking to. But yeah, sometimes it's good to put a, a you know face behind the behind mm-hmm. the texting and the and the imaging. But it's yeah, it's a, it, it's a that's a full time job too. It's, uh, it's yeah. How de- you know how, how you know you start to reach so many more people, and then all these messages come in. I can't. Uh, I, I, I be, wish, yeah. yeah, I wish I could be better at it because I know I miss, I miss a lot of the the posts when they when you put them in the story, uh, for Instagram, it's only yeah. up there for a little bit of time, so sometimes exactly. I, I, yeah, I'll miss it, but yeah, I try to hours. try to do my best, yeah. Um, that's what I do for a living is I run people's Instagram pages. Oh no! So kidding. sometimes people have a business and they just don't have time. They don't have time to monitor that. Um, right, a content creator. It's a new job for me and I'm loving it. So, I mean, I know how that is. It can get, you know, social media is a huge wheel and you can really get out, get your name out there and everything. But unfortunately then you frequently are getting all this stuff back and some people can't put the time into that. You know, they're taking it away from their business. So. Right. Right. Yeah. And and the, pro- the one thing that, that I run into, I almost feel as if, uh, when I'm doing it, people think I'm not working because everyone's so, you know, head down and you're just, you know, typing away, but uh, it's actually, it's, it's a lot of work uh, you know, they, yeah. because they don't, they, there's not really a platform at, on your desktop. Uh, I used to use right. you know, a program. I forget what it was, it was called, but you could, you could kind of monitor all the, all the hashtags and all the, all the tags on one. So you could respond, a, uh, you know, a lot more efficiently, but, uh, but they don't have that anymore. So it's, yeah, it's become a little bit of a challenge and I try to keep up with it as much as I can. Yeah, I know just even on my personal Instagram, I try to answer everybody and wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It, it, yeah, it is. And, 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 to, and to be honest, there are some uh, some that come through that I don't even want to answer. Mm-hmm. I have those two, but I still answer them. I do, yeah. I'm very nice. <laughs> and yeah. I don't want to make anybody feel bad. So no, I right, try to right, answer right, them right. all. True, yeah. true, true, true. But yeah. uh, no, it's, yeah, it's good. To, uh, you know, it's good to stay in, in contact with people. And it's, it, it's amazing when, um, because I, I travel, well, I used to travel the U S uh, but now it's been limited, uh, you know, for obvious reasons, but um, it was always great to, to show up to an event all the way across the country. And you run into somebody that you've been communicating with or that you've reposted right. or, or done something with and, you know, hear it, and then here we are. Now we're face to face, and it's it, it's like you've already built a relationship. Yeah, uh, you, feel you feel like you know you, them. Yeah. I think TPE was my first uh, cigar event, and that's what happened to me. Is I went, and people recognized me, and they were like, "Hey, you chicks and sticks!" And then yeah. you start talking. You're like, "This." It was just so great to meet people and put a face to people you've had to exchange with or talk to or you know, right. who comment. And I agree. It's, um, you know, a lot of times people poo poo social media, but I don't know. I no, not, not at all. It's a great way. You just feel so much more connected, I think. So yeah, absolutely. And, even and especially with what in you're... the cigar community, the cigar community right. is so great. Like, I just right. think most people are super respectful. I just haven't had any problems really. Yeah. No, so. no. For you know, for the most part, it's a, it's a great community and yeah, um, you know, people, you know, there, there are good bonds and, you know, it's funny, actually when, 
if you if if you remember at TPE when we first met, there was there was a little click, and I couldn't yeah you know, I couldn't put it to you know couldn't put it together. Yeah, and and then it was all coming back. I was like, Wait, I remember you, the, martinis, something about martini, martinis, right? right. <laughs> and then it was the it was the Toscano, uh, yeah, episode that you did, and it was my it was, Italian show. I did a right. chocolate martini, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. And uh, my son yeah. was with me, and right. so it, that probably helped too. You recognized him. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to tell everybody who's watching we are getting really close to a giveaway of some cool United stuff. And so if you have not, if your name is not in the comments, you are not in the drawing. So if you're watching and I don't have your name, then um, there's a couple of people on here who have said multiple things. I've got all of you. So you have like a couple minutes to get your name in the comments, ask a question or comment something um so that you can be part right. of this yeah and we're gonna give away the uh we're gonna give away a united hat uh, nice. one one of our ombre ashtrays uh which i don't know if you remember from the show uh the tpe show it stands about eight eight inches high and uh, he has he has the two holes on the on, at his feet you put the cigar into his feet and the smoke comes out of his mouth so we're gonna what? give that away and a nice little uh a nice little um okay United that's sample. so cool if you guys don't get your name in the comments you're just losers <laughs> missing, missing out. <laughs> that's great that's incredible okay <laughs> um i don't think there's any more questions that we need to get to no well definitely something you know, one, uh, a couple things, two, you know, two other things. Well, one, the, the Abuelo I talked about, but that's coming to, uh, that's coming to stores now. That's made by, uh, by JRE mm -hmm. Tobacco. Okay. I'll get you one of those. So that's, that's a pure Honduran, uh, uses a, uh, Honduran Habano wrapper and Honduran Corojo on the filler okay. and, and binder. So very excited for that one. That, that one just, uh, just launched a couple weeks ago. It's been received very well. And then at the okay. end of end of this month now all the wise man maduro firecrackers are out there that was our limited release but then at the end of july we have the the black bomb coming Ooh. out so the black bomb is the wow. is the next the next firecracker but that's a maduro okay maduro wrapped wrapped firecracker so that'll be uh that'll be coming out uh shipping to retailers at the end of july beginning of august and then okay. we're overly excited that the Alad aladino box pressed mm. cigar, cigar bar what three cigars that's going to be coming out right in time for maybe some adult trick-or-treating got all the ingredients that in, is cool looking bag. so that's our our boutique uh cigar bar that's coming out uh just in time for the festivities so in, who does uh, all your designs for who does your designs for packaging and bands are they the same people or do you have two different um so it's a lot a lot of it is uh, is just myself uh sitting down we have a uh, you know I'll, I'll present ideas to uh our our graphic guy that's uh out of the all sock um printers in the dominican so i'll send them the concepts the ideas and they'll they'll put everything everything together wow the packaging is really cool yeah thank you thank you like the, the bar, the, 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 i'll say la giana was made uh, at the at the davidos factory we wanted a, a drawer um you know slide slide box so that was that was at their at their factory but uh nelson nelson alfonso designed the uh yeah, you know, the the label. So he helped us with that, just upgrading it. Um, yeah, the, the firecracker that was just a lot of that was my. You know, I have a, I have a, a passion, just a love for um, you know Americana tattoos and a lot of Sailor yeah. Jerry um, influence oh, yeah. there. So I, I wanted that navy. Um, so do you, you have know, tattoos? I I do I do I do. Are they showable? <laughs> they're showable on the sleeve, but there's a lot of. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 
They're covered I in see, there, but yeah, a lot I of, see a lot the of Sailor them. Jerry style. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I have. Yeah, there are three on the forearm, three on the on the upper arm that are all uh, all all Sailor Jerry. There, it's his artwork. Um, cool. That I just have up and down the uh, up and down the arm. Very cool. I keep wanting to have oh, that, you know, that classic sparrow, that classic sparrow tattoo. That's that yeah, style. Yeah. With some spars around it or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That was, yeah. Uh, I would say it was very classic. Yeah. Mine yeah. are, I have, uh, oh wow. Gosh. Now that I'm counting them, it's embarrassing. I have six, uh, six pinups, uh, on my, on my radar. Nice. But it's, it, it's just that, you know, that, that Americana, you know, look that I, I, just, I absolutely love. Yeah. So I started, started piecing them together over, over time and. Very cool. That's what, that's what I got. My yeah. latest is just writing around my wrist and it says, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yep. Yeah, that goes, that goes, that goes to it with the whole sailor theme. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so mine, that latest, well, it's going to be upside down, but. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. That is the Sailor Jerry girl, isn't it? He's frozen for me anyway. Oh, he just disappeared. Okay, so something must have happened on his end because he just disappeared. He started showing uh, us his tattoos and he's coming back. You're back. Uh, there you are. Okay. I don't even know how to show it. Yeah. Wow. And the one next to it looks really cool too. Oh my God. That is cool. Wow. Oh, that's all. That's all. Uh... Yeah, it's all it's all um, Sailor Jerry's Norman. Oh no, I just forgot his name. How did I just forget it? I'm totally blank. Okay, what about what about incorporating that into a band one day? Yeah, maybe yeah some of the some of the pinups, but uh, you know, as I said, I mean, you know, just the the one of your tattoos. Yeah, one of the tattoos is like a little five pack or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah quite possible. Quite possible. Cool. You never, you never um, know. Yeah. So I hope everybody's got their name in. Cause I think we should do this giveaway. So I got all the, the names on these pieces of paper for someone to take a big, this is so good. <laughs> this is really oh, so, delicious. So glad you like it. I like it better than the natural one. Or the lighter yeah. one. There's yeah, there, and there's such a difference. The blends blends are the same, but when you when you when you just change up the wrapper on that, you can really tell the the difference. Yeah. That, that being that Mexican San Andreas, you have a much richer, deeper um, That's why flavor like profile. And then the Ecuadorian Habano um on the natural um is just it's just yeah, it's different. I, I've I have I have both sides. Uh yeah. I think the Maduro, the Maduro does a little bit better on the on the Toro and the natural does a little bit better on the, on the Rebuso. Okay. Well, that's why I like it. Cause I like that San Andreas. Okay. I'm going to set yeah. it down here carefully. Got it. So I love box press. Makes me so excited that it's a box press. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. Okay. I'm going to like shuffle these. I'm just going to shuffle and not look. Nobody else is added. So here we go. Giveaway. Somebody said we need a snozberry cigar. <laughs> a snoz. Who's ever heard of a snozberry? <laughs> I don't know. Dr. Seuss. That sounds like a Dr. No, Seuss. No, that, that's Willy Wonka. Oh, Willy Wonka. When, when they're, when they're licking, they're licking, yeah, they're licking the wall. Wow, look at you. See, you do know film. Oh. You know what? Okay. I, if, I, if I'm smoking the, the Aladino Series Unidas cigar bar, I'm going to watch Willy Wonka. 
Okay, I'm getting ready to pull this name out. Here we go. I'm going to fan them out. Not looking. And I'm going to have you pull one. Marcio Martinez. You're going to get your sampler. <laughs> I think he was oh. the guy who said I need to try some United Cigars. Oh, perfect timing. That's so cool. So, um... Marcio, you need to, are you watching? Please tell me you that you are. Um, anyway, go on my Instagram, Chicks and Sticks, and send me your address, and I will send them to you, because you're sending it to me, right? I'll send it to you, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Snozberry's one. <laughs> that is that, somebody that said is i would a, get that i would get that i don't know what that a, would taste like a snozberry cigar would you have to lick it instead of smoke it i don't yeah. know oh I thank you okay so tell um marcio again what he is winning yes he said yes um make so, sure marcio, that you you've won Yourself a wonderful United Cigar package. Um, so it's a like United it. Cigar hat. <laughs> United Cigar hat. Uh, I'll put a sampler pack in there. Uh, some United stickers and the uh, ombre. What we call the ombre ashtray, so that you can always have a little smoking buddy next year. Oh my God, that's so cool! And a hat, right? Yeah, and the United hat. The United hat, hat. Couple stickers. Yeah, sampler and cigar. Oh my God, that's so great. Okay, so make sure you go to it's. Um, chicks underscore n underscore sticks and chicks is spelled with an x should put it up i think i've got it here i think i have it written i guess i don't darn it anyway it's chicks c-h-i-x underscore an n underscore and then sticks spelled correctly so um, get me your address and we'll get that yeah. out to you. That's so exciting. And make sure everyone's following at United Cigars on Instagram and Twitter and uh, United Cigar Group at, on Facebook. We're out there. So any questions that I can answer or anything you need, just uh, please let me know. Yeah. And don't forget, and to, don't forget to vote. Go to Cigar Journal. Oh, yes. Vote Everybody has Adebay, to go vote. Adebe Ritos. I can't wait. I'm going to go do it right afterwards and Anything. let a bunch of my friends know who love United as well. Um, and Marcio said, thank you so much. So um, thanks. Thanks for when he gets his pack too, you should post a picture and hashtag um, United. United. Yeah. And, so yeah, sees and, how cool. yeah. Tag. Yeah. Tag us. And, yeah. yeah. The ha hashtag we like to, I like to use is just United. We smoke. It's kind of bringing, you know, bringing everyone together. Yeah. I love it. Here we are together virtually. So right. nice. Right. And soon, okay. soon hopefully I get out there and, uh, you know, we'll run into each other. Hopefully yeah. Do you, um, so California is kind of a weird animal when it comes to cigars. You know, we have all these crazy Indeed. taxes and blah, blah, blah. Um, do you have, are you in California much? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have uh, okay. quite a few, quite a few retailers out oh, there. Oh, okay, good. Uh, what? Uh, and yeah, it's hard. It, it's hard for me to remember all the retailers out there. What part of California are you in? Southern, LA area. LA. Okay. Oh, so um, yeah, I know. Uh, 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 King Cigar, uh, Max oh, Cigar, yeah. Cigar Warehouse. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're spread out. Okay, good. Maximars. Oh, they're, they're great. Yeah. Yeah. And they just Andrew moved Mar their lounge across the street as well. Right. So I think right. it's going to be bigger and it's getting kind of a facelift. Yeah. So yeah, the Mike's old, the old location they're just doing, um, is the all their mail shipping. order shipping. Yeah. 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 They do such a huge volume that they, um, needed more room. So that's yeah. really good. So that's nice to know. Um, Mike Omega said, what's the Twitter for United? Mike Omega. 
Um, the Twitter is United Cigars. And if anybody's looking for a gift or they're looking for something sweet just for themselves, uh, Mike Omega is on the East Coast and they have a little, him and uh, the family have a little business and it's Silly, silly Pops, Silly Cake Pops. They have oh. the lollipop, the cake lollipops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abs- uh, phenomenal. They are they are addictive. They have a, a tres leches one that uh, I what? Mean, it's like crack, I like crack. <laughs> I crack. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's it's on. It's, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's um, they, they they're just you know they're little you know the cake pops. So yeah, yeah silly. So- I think on Instagram they're silly cake pops. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hold of them because my show on August 12th, which is a Thursday, is actually my birthday. And I'm doing a two-hour show. And so I need cake pops. God, I oh, need to eat them some, on the show. You need yeah. some cake pops. Absolutely. There, you you got you got to be careful. I brought a box home, and then all of a sudden my kids are like, it's like one bite. They're like, oh, I'll have one. Oh, I'll have one. I'm like, wait, those are, those are, those are luxury pops. You got to save yeah. room. <laughs> they're, they're popping well, my kid is my kid has grown and moved out, so right. he doesn't get any. I'm just all no. by myself. They're, <laughs> it's going to be for me, but I'll eat them on my show and oh, and they do have, a they shout have out Uber, for them. Okay, it so would be- I'll recommend I think my my top. Well, I'll, I'll give you my top two. That Tres Leches is phenomenal, and they have an ube, which I had never heard of, but it's, a, it's like this deep purple. It's a, it's a vegetable, I think, but it's sweet and it's it's phenomenal. So good. Wow. So that okay. those are my recommendations. I'll try those too for sure. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I'm give, excited. Give them a try. Oh, All right. so somebody put up the Instagram.com silly cakes. Okay. That's great. Oh, nice. Okay. And I got plenty of time to get some. Get a box yep. sent. Okay. Yeah, they're all, all, all handmade. So um, definitely get on it. But they're good. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Well, well, I guess it's time to wrap it up. Um, it was great having you on here. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's just so great hearing about um, United Cigars and all you're kind of diversified, like all the things that you guys are doing. Um, and you are truly a boutique cigar company, like. And yeah, boy, we, we you are, are so you are working hard too. I know you your heart's totally in it, a hundred percent. So yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot of passion behind it as yeah you know, as as everybody in the in, in the business, but um, a lot of passion behind it, and and you know, just working on these projects and just seeing them come together, and then seeing them in the market, and then like I said, when when you when someone tells me that it's you know it. it it's a good, you know, even just saying it's a really good cigar, I'm enjoying it. That means so much to me. But, um, you know, then when someone goes out and says, you know, like you would yeah. top five and someone else has added yeah. one of their, you know, their favorite smoke of all time. I mean, it's, I, I, I there's no way to, to repay somebody like, you know, for that. It's, it, it means, it yeah. means a ton. It means a ton. Well, somebody suggested, and I think this is a great idea to go get a, some firework, some firecracker cigars for the 4th of July. hundred um, percent. What a great cigar to give to somebody too, who maybe doesn't smoke all the time, or even a first-time smoker could smoke that without. I don't think they'd have any problem, and it's small I, I and it's short and it's a conversation piece, and it'd be really fun to have at your Fourth of July barbecues. And you should take pictures of Fourth of July with a firecracker and post them. That would can't be think of super a better cool. way to celebrate our independence. Yeah, me too. Right. Sounds live, really cool. Buy, buy, smoke, live, united. Yeah, there you go. See, <laughs> I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody, but I wanted to let you know um, next week's show um, is I'm going to have on a, they're called Legron Cigar Company. And so he sells cigars. He just started three months ago. He owns a gym and he decided to start distributing cigars. And so um, three months ago, he started during COVID. 
So you got to hand it to the guy, right? Um, More fruit that cigars are healthy. He sent me a beautiful box. Um, So he has a monthly box subscription too. And he sent me a beautiful box with um, four cigars in it. The packaging was beautiful. The scars are in great shape. Um, there was some really nice cigars in there. I'm really impressed, and it'll be exciting to hear more um, about him, what he's doing. So, yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. And you know what I always say be kind and keep chasing your stars. Hi. Hi. That was awesome. Yeah.